Hello everyone, Ramia here. So I've been kind of brainstorming coming up with new and interesting styles of videos for my channel and one of the things I came up with was this concept. Can I make a decent new Super Luigi U stage in under an hour? Considering I recently scrutinized new Super Luigi U and also its stages are a lot shorter than new Super Mario Bros U stages, this idea should make for an interesting challenge. On top of this, it is funny to keep in mind that in the past few years, it has occasionally taken me several weeks to complete a single stage I'm actually happy with, so going back all the way down to one hour should really be an interesting experiment. So I've got the editor set up and also a timer. I'll probably periodically discuss what's going on and uh, there's going to be time lapse segments in between, I suppose. But for now, it's time to get started. All right, so let's make a zone. And yeah, um, like how I've, I've been meaning to do like a tutorial of sorts or like a like kind of like a walkthrough of how I make stages for a while. And this isn't exactly that. However, it's like it's like the next best thing. You know, I can't be bothered to actually go in depth uh, all that much right now. But, you know, I, I could just, you know, record the process, I suppose, for making this stage. And that will kind of do. Um, so this is going to be a desert stage, as you can see from the background I just picked. And um, yeah, let's see. Yeah, oops. I'll just like put a little zone down and I've got <laughs> I've got some weird stuff planned um, and the thing to kind of keep the new Super Luigi U vibe of having uh, weird stuff like weird enemies and weird objects inside levels that don't really fit them um, and you'll see what I mean by that uh, soon enough uh, but yeah let's let's see if I can make a decent stage under in under an hour and of course because it, it's a uh, new Super Luigi U style stage it doesn't have to be that too long like we don't have to have a, uh, a midway and that kind of stuff and the, the star coins don't have to be as you know high Fidelity, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, so from now on, we'll just kind of go into time lapse mode, I suppose. And whenever something interesting happens, or I want to talk to you guys, or whatever, I'll just uh, record a little clip here. All right, and here comes this stage's um, twist, I suppose. There we go. There's going to be a Kooligan. There's going to be a lot of Kooligans, actually, in this stage. Um, I'm probably going to recolor them for the final version of the stage, but yeah, I'm going to have <laughs> desert uh, Kooligans because why not? You know, free flame is a thing, um, and I think, I don't know, for some reason I feel like penguins or Kooligans or whatever kind of weirdly fit the desert theme as long as I um, recolor them, and that, that's exactly the kind of thing that I feel like Nisa Bougie would do. Uh, but yeah, so far I, I don't have that much yet. Um, I had to keep in mind that this is a Luigi U stage, so the, the, the jump arc here is really high. It might actually be too high, I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, so so far it's, it's simple enough. We're going to be combining the Kooligans with another mechanic that's going to tie in with some of the de decoration we've already got going on. But yeah, I should probably continue on because I'm talking too much and I've only got uh, 55 minutes left. Alright. Right, so we're now uh, a little over 10 minutes in, and I'm quite happy with what we've got so far. So, um, this the secondary main mechanic, or I suppose just the secondary mechanic for this stage is going to be these moving desert blocks, which move on two-way controllers. And I've also already kind of set that up here with these coins are going to be like moving back and forth, kind of like up and down. Uh, so it's going to make for quite a cool looking uh, coin arc, I hope. Um, and yeah, so those those will work quite well with the Kooligans, I'm pretty sure like, you can have some sections where like the Kooligans are going to be like stuck in little holes, but then the, the blocks are going to move up and push them out of the hole, that kind of stuff. And I'm also kind of considering like putting like a location here, there's, going to be, like, there's like a little hidden block there. It, it's quite a lazy star coin, but it's not lazy, it's not that lazy by Luigi U standard, I suppose. But I could put like location here and then maybe have like some coins appear and then have a star coin appear or something like that. Maybe I'll put it in like a little bit of a challenging position or something like that so it's still not super easy to get. I don't know. Uh, I'll probably, yeah, I'll, I'll probably do that actually. Uh, oh, I've already got an idea of how to do that. Okay, yeah, so um, I'll, I'll continue on now. And uh, yeah, so far I'm pretty happy with it.
Alright, so we're about halfway through now, at least in terms of time, and I would say, I guess, yeah, the stage is maybe a bit more than halfway through, I don't really know. The more I'm doing this, the more I realise, like, wow, this is, uh, this is difficult, man. Um, yeah, so I've got some stuff set up, like I said, I had some queens spawn in, and then, like, the star queen appearing, uh, if you go up there, and that's all fine, and then we've got some more, like, symbol stuff, got some cooligans, and then the roulette block, because why not, I don't know. And then for this next star coin, it's actually kind of similar in a way. Uh, I think I'm going to make it to where if you hit this red block, a bunch of red blocks here are going to appear, which are going to allow you to get this star coin. I kind of want to do a little bonus room for the third star coin, just so I can have at least some other zone for this stage. Yeah, I mean, it's going well so far, but it's definitely been difficult, kind of just like thinking of new ways of using the mechanics on the spot, kind of. <laughs> Okay, so we've got less than 20 minutes left, and I do just kind of have to uh, wrap this thing up at this point, because I still also want to make a bonus room. I'm probably just going to put like a, a gold ball here, a pretty simple gold ball. Uh, I'm sure Molkov would be disappointed in me. Um, but yeah, so I just decided to just make a little jumpy section here. If you hit this lock, I'm pretty sure I've got it set up to where like these box and coins are going to appear. So it's pretty similar to the other star coin, but whatever. Um, Still got these coins which are going to be moving, remember? And then here is like kind of the final challenge of the stage. We're going to have. Oh, actually, I didn't have the Kooligan generator there yet. But there's going to be Kooligans uh, like filling up into this section, and then you like have to go down with the blocks to get in here. And then the, the, the secret pipe for the bonus room is up here, which is, you know, decently hidden, I suppose. Or at least sort of hard to get into, maybe. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so stages like pretty much like most of the main stages now done. It's super duper tiny. Um, it might be like it might be like a 50 second stage honestly that might be interesting I don't know we'll have to see if that's worth it or not I'll be Ashbury stop rambling and go finish this stage now And uh, yeah, I think I think it's about done, guys. Um, I'm I'm obviously going to be unhappy with um, with this because I made it in an hour, and like I said, I usually spend weeks on stages nowadays. Uh, but you know, for having made it in an hour, it is actually like not the worst thing I've ever made. I think like it's it's somewhat decent. Yeah, like in terms of the things I would have liked to have done better, I would have probably preferred, you know, just it having been a bit longer because right now I really feel like this could be like a 50 second stage, honestly. Like I, I could genuinely set the time to 50 seconds and I think it would be totally playable. I don't know, I guess we'll have to see about that. I am actually, by the way, going to allow myself to um, mess around with the stage just a little bit more in, like after having tested it because I haven't played it a single time at this point. And, you know, just in case something is completely broken or something, I do want to make a good video on the finish stage, like playing through it. I do actually want everything to, you know, work the way I intended it, but I'm not going to allow myself to obviously, like, add anything or anything like that. So if you see the video, it should be exactly like how it is here, only everything should actually be working. And that is presuming anything is broken, which might not be the case.
Um, but yeah, I guess I can just kind of run you guys through my thought process by this stage. So it's, you know, it's a very simple stage. It just uses these moving desert blocks, which are just going to be moving up and down for this stage. And some Kooligans, which of course don't really fit with the theme, but that's kind of the joke, I suppose. Kind of like free slain. Um, so you start off with just a jump, because why not? It does kind of introduce the idea of two-way movement, because the coins are going to be moving up and down, like either side is going to be moving in another direction. Uh, then you've got a Kooligan, because, well, it's a crazy idea having a Kooligan here, so I kind of want to, you know, throw that in early on. Then there's going to be a moving desert block, it's not going to be any kind of a threat, because it's just going to move down until here, so the player isn't going to be able to, like, fall in the void or anything like that. So it's fine. Um, but there is a sign here pointing the player up here, so it's going to be an invisible question block here, and so the player can jump up here. And then the location is going to activate all these coins, and then um, after a while also these coins are going to appear, and you can wall jump and then get the star coin. Uh, wall jumping there is going to be a bit difficult because there's going to be a Kudigan generator here and these blocks are also going to be moving up and down so like we're starting to combine the mechanics we've introduced already and now also there's a there's the threat of falling down here because it, it's just death down there. Uh, then some more combination of mechanics with these Kudigans and then like these blocks are going to be moving up and down. I have a roulette block here because it's kind of too early to give the player another power up but I do still want to like give the player that option and also if they get a star which is an option, um, they can kill off the Kooligans, and there's going to be a lot more Kooligans here as well, because there's a Kooligan generator here. This might get a bit messy, and that's something I'm not going to allow myself to fix, if it is the case, um, because there's going to be a Kooligan generator here, and those Kooligans are going to go into this area, and they're going to be trapped. So I'm not sure whether like the limit of the Kooligan generator is going to be enough to make this not super duper jank. I'm, yeah, I don't know about that, but we'll have to see. Um, then here's the sign pointing the player to the right, and this is kind of misleading because the earlier sign uh, is pointing the player up here towards the star coin, and this sign is just pointing the player away from the star coin. Because actually, if they go down here, there's this block that's going to be moving up and down here, and um, if they, if they, you know, are wondering like why is that there, then um, they might walk into the left, and that's where this is. I guess one one little flaw is that the player might like, walk into the left and then just die because there's only a one white little place there. I don't know. I'm hoping people will be careful. And also, nobody's ever going to play this stage. This, is, this stage was just made for fun. Uh, but whatever. So they're going to walk into here. They can hit the brick block probably. And then that's going to spawn some extra brick blocks. And then they can get the star coin. Or alternatively, they might even be able to just like wall jump here. And then they kind of like, get up there. I don't know. They might be able to get that star coin regardless. Um, anyways, so the normal route is just um, is some more like platforming with these blocks and I think these are going to be moving extra fast if I'm not mistaken or no, yeah, these have the same movement as these ones which also move quite fast. Yeah, I believe they do move pretty fast these ones so it's going to make for a bit of a platforming challenge not to mention the, the big jumps and then one more Kudigan because why not and then uh, we're going to give the player another power up because they'll probably have taken damage from like this earlier section or I don't know, it's just good to give the player a power up after a while. And then, like, the kind of the final challenge is, like, spamming a bunch of Kooligans into this little area, um, which is going to be moving down slowly and then moving back up relatively quickly. And uh, the Kooligan is going to fall down here, so it won't get completely filled up, hopefully. But yeah, that's the challenge, like, the final challenge for this stage, and I think that makes sense. And then just before the gold, gold ball, there's this hidden pipe here, which is going to lead to this bonus room. This bonus room is going to have these blocks moving up and down uh, quite quickly, so the player can just barely, hopefully, get in there, get the star coin, and get back. And then the yellow pipe um, is going to lead the player back here. And then there's just like a final little thing with this block moving up and down. And um, that's for the gold pool so they can get the top of it. And uh, yeah, that's the stage. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, <laughs> rambly video of mine. Uh, it's, it's very different from my channel. I did used to do quite a lot of time lapse videos back in the day, but they weren't quite like this. And um, yeah, I'm quite happy with the way this turned out. If you want to see the finished product, uh, there's probably going to be a link for the video on screen right now. And um, yeah, that should be pretty interesting. Uh, so I hope to see you guys there. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.